This is breast reduction surgery. Good morning guys. Today we're doing a breast reduction surgery. And so I've already done my markings as you can see, but let me tell you about why women come for breast reductions. It's actually ranks one of the highest, most satisfying surgeries for patients because it gives so much relief. A lot of these women who have really large breasts have a lot of other issues. They've got shoulder grooving from their bra straps. They've got sometimes rashes underneath their breasts, especially in the hot weather. They get neck pain and upper back pain. And so breast reduction consistently ranks as one of, one of the highest satisfaction surgeries for patients because it relieves all those symptoms, but it also accentuates the look of the breasts. And so every breast reduction also comes with a breast lift because a lot of patients who have large pendulous breasts also have low breasts. So they get a smaller, more perkier breast. And so I already showed, did the markings like I mentioned. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense just by seeing this, but you can see the nipples which are covered up here are down here. They need to be a few inches higher. And then I have to reduce the tissue, especially in this lower part, and as well as take out some extra skin and then bring this all in together and tailor it to, to lift the breast, make it more perky, bring the nipple up to a more proper position that it's sitting on the peak of the breast mount, not on the bottom of the breast. It's gonna do uh, a wonders for her contouring, her, the balance with the rest of her body, but it's also gonna relieve a lot of those symptoms. So I'm excited to get ready to get back to the operating room and I'll see you guys in there. So we're here in the operating room and I wanna show you what uh, I marked and what they mean. So I already marked the new areola size, much smaller than the original. And this here is the pedicle that's gonna be all the blood supply to this areola nipple. So I'm gonna save all of this and all the tissue up here. I'm gonna get rid of all of this tissue, which is not really necessary anyway, because that's the, the tissue that's been hanging the most. And then once I do that, I'm gonna close this like this and then bring the nipple out through a much higher location. So first step is to make the new incision around the areola and then develop this pedicle and then take this tissue out. show you what's been done so far. This is on the left breast. Um, I've isolated the pedicle. So this is the breast tissue that I want to leave behind. And I took away all this breast tissue in the bottom part. And now what I need to do is I'm going to rotate this in and sew it to this to start sculpting the breast. And you can see now it's almost like it gives a little bit of fullness up top. And then these points are going to come down to here and close and then this will close in a line and I'll bring the nipple out. And so you could already see like this is gonna be a much smaller breast compared to the other one that I still haven't done yet. And so I'm gonna actually stop here and go to the other side just cause I have to go back and forth and make sure I get the sizes exactly right because she's a little asymmetric. Her right side was a little bit bigger than her left beforehand. So I don't wanna close this and then and then come back to reopen it to make it symmetric. So I'm gonna stop here, go to the right side, and bring you back in. Here we are at part two of the surgery. So part one of the surgery was to do the uh, breast reduction, remove the extra breast tissue, form the pedicle to that the nipple was still attached to, and then kind of sculpt that into the shape of the breast that I want. So you can see now the breasts are much more lifted, a nice shape, it's much narrower than her original size that was going out into her arm. So I've sat her up now and I've marked the location of the new areola position. So before they were way down here, now they're gonna be up here. I gotta take this skin out and then bring the nipple out and sew it into place. And we use this thing called a cookie cutter. I mean, I don't think that's the real name, but we call it cookie cutters. And that's what we use to size the new areola. They come in different sizes, but all the same shape. Um, but yeah, just gotta bring the areolas out and then we'll be done. So just completed the 
this breast reduction, and you can see already, she's sitting up at about 80 degrees. This is where her breasts came down to before surgery, and now they're up here. So about four or five inches lifted up. Nice shape. This is a way of doing the, uh, the breast reduction where I not only take out all that lower hanging breast tissue, but I rotate the remaining breast tissue and shape it to almost look like it's an auto augmentation. Um, she does not have implants in. Um, nipples that were down here before are up here. Areola, which was about this big before, is now an appropriate size for the smaller breast and a much narrower bre breast width. Her breast before went out into her arms and now it's a couple inches in. It's going to help a lot as far as physical activity, working out and such. And when I do these breast reduction cases, I always take what the patient tells me as far as what they want their final size to be, but I also have to take my, put in mind that it has to match their overall frame. So she wanted to, to be smaller, of course, but she wanted balance with her, her torso and her abdomen and the rest of her frame. And so I go to great lengths to, to try and make sure everything is harmonious. That it's not too flat, but also that it is a proper reduction. And I think this really balances out her frame. And if she decides to work out and she loses weight, it'll shrink with her. Um, and if she gains weight, it'll grow with her. And, and these are the things that are important, not just just doing a cookie cutter surgery, making sure that everything is harmonious. But she's gonna do really, really well. These incisions are gonna heal really nicely. We're gonna put on the little dressings and she's gonna be really thrilled and her symptoms are gonna get better. That's the most important thing uh, as far as doing these breast reductions. Symptom control and shape control. So she did great. I'm gonna do the dressings and we'll be done. Till next time guys.